Good morning to the football cats in Starkville last night trying to win their fifth game of the season and be a win away from getting bowl eligible. Kentucky at Mississippi State. The last time they beat State was in 2008 and that was actually in Starkville. Second drive of the night game for Kentucky. Stanley Boom Williams from nine yards out. He dives in, but no, no, no. Take another look. Knee is down before he crosses the plane. But what Kentucky has been good at all season long is scoring in the red zone. 21 or 22 times they've scored. Shannon Dawson calls Patrick Toll's number. Take another look at this. Does he get in? Looks like pretty much his entire half body of it is it in. But uh, officials would review it. They say, yeah, he's in. So Toll puts Kentucky up 7 to nothing. Bulldogs drive down the field on the ensuing possession. And it's Dak. Dak Prescott, fifth rushing touchdown of the season. We're tied at seven apiece. Go second quarter now. Dak, he can throw the football too because he hasn't thrown an interception all season long. Deronia Wilson for the 13-yard score. Blow the kiss, 14 to 10 dogs, but Dak, he isn't perfect. Again, hasn't thrown an interception until now. Six minutes to go in the half and Prescott throws deep and it's picked off by Chris Westry, the freshman. First INT for Dak in 289 pass attempts. That snaps the third longest streak in SEC history. Cats don't get anything out of it. A minute left in the half, and it's Prescott this time connecting. Floats it out to Brandon Holloway. He's about a buck 60. Five play, 69 yard drive. Mississippi State up 11. Kentucky trying to get a score before the half. Tolls goes deep, and he throws an interception. What a catch though by Tavise Calhoun. Take another look at this one. A one-handed grab, way overthrown from to Dorian Baker. And of course, Mississippi State's going to capitalize, specifically Dak from 20 yards out. Mississippi State wins 42 to 16. Dak passed for 348, rushed for 117, and accounted for six touchdowns. 42-16 the final. Kentucky's next opponent, Tennessee, UT at Alabama. Balls haven't beaten them in eight tries. Eighth ranked Alabama hosting them. Here we go. Bama strikes first in the form of Derrick Henry. 20 yards on the handoff. Crimson Tide go up seven to nothing in the first. Tennessee counters through the air though. Josh Dobbs to Josh Smith for the score. We're tied at seven. Balls down 13-7 now in the fourth. Jalen Hurd gives Tennessee the lead with 5.50 to play, 14-13. Two and a half left now and it's Henry again. Not as good as Leonard Fournette, but Henry doing some work. 19-14 lead after the failed two-point conversion. Ball's looking to drive down the field for the win, but on second and 24, that ball is that ball's out and into an Alabama player, and that's the ball game. Alabama wins it over Tennessee, 19-14. At the University of the Cumberlands undefeated in conference play coming into yesterday's game. Back in the national top 25. Ranked 24th this week and hosting the U Pike Bears. It's a Mid Southeast Division game in our Appalachian Wireless College Game of the Week. Patriots up 28 to 7 at the half and adding to their lead in the third. Adam Craig might as well be a running back. He's got double digit rushing touchdowns this season. That makes it 35 to 7 UC. Ensuing Bears drive, RJ Roseman throws deep. What a grab! Goodness! 32 yards on the hookup. Eddie Miller on the touchdown. 35-14 now. Next U-Pike drive following a Patriot touchdown. It's Quan Reaver. Weaver. U-Pike down 41 to 22 though. To the fourth. The pass happy Patriots. Going to the air. Craig drops back and Wendell Williams is wide open. That kid is having himself a year. Number 24 Cumberland's routes U-Pike and Williams for 48 to 29. It means a lot. We're just thankful. Uh, shows our resiliency. Had some adversity early. Um, had a, and I think a lot of the stuff today really reflects the off season and how hard we worked in the weight room. I thought we were a lot stronger, a lot more physical, uh, a lot more able to control the ball, control the line of scrimmage. They got a really, really good offense, and uh, the best defense against them is to keep the ball. And I think we did that. I'm proud of our guys and just thankful. Let's first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning. Good morning to you. Homecoming in Richmond yesterday. The Eastern Kentucky Colonels had won eight homecoming games in a row going into Saturday's game with Tennessee State. EKU ranked 14th in the FCS coaches poll. Dean Hood ready to go. First quarter, no score. Ronald Butler's in trouble. And Marquise Pitten says, come here. 
third sack of the season for Pitten. Cardinals ball now, Benny Coney. First offensive play from scrimmage. He finds the Pineville boy, Ben Maiden. Former Bell County Bobcat catches it for a 22-yard gain. Four plays later, Coney back in the shotgun. Rolls out, and he throws a dart. Didn't really need to, though. Brian Green was wide open. 13 yards on the score. EKU up 7-0 after just two minutes and two seconds off the clock on that drive. Second quarter, Butler is picked off. Keontae Northington, thank you very much. Second INT for Keontae. EKU didn't convert a score off the turnover, but... Later, here's a score, Ethan Thomas. 80 yards for the touchdown for the freshman. 18 carries, 149 yards for Thomas. EKU defeats Tennessee State 45-21, the program's ninth consecutive homecoming win. A couple of winless teams at Williamson Stadium last night. Homecoming for the Union Bulldogs taking on Kentucky Christian. Bulldogs get the ball first and in the red zone. Chandler Whittlesey. Hands it off, and that's LeVance Anderson. That's a big boy run. He's down at the one. The very next play, though, Chandler Whittlesey would punch it in. 7-0 Union. How about Union special teams? Defense getting it done here. KCU, field goal. Nope. Will Reynolds has got it. Runs it to the 30-yard line. Takes a huge hit there, though, at the end. Same drive for Union. Whittlesey, he rolls out. He got a touchdown, and but Union, as you see, Kentucky Christian would defeat them 45 to 38. Division II football, Jason Woodman, Fairmont State, Fairmont, West Virginia. That's where I was born. They were hosting UVA Wise, FSU rolling on their first drive. Terrell Charles, 46 to the house, 7 0 Falcons. Fairmont State recovers a fumble in the ensuing kickoff, and it's Charles again, 14 0 FSU. Two and a half minutes in. Cavs, though, answer on their next possession. Javante Latney. 14-6. Wise opening the second, though, with Stanza. 74-yard drive capped off by Daniel Lewis to Terrence Younger. 24-13. How about this play, though? The Cavs' next possession. Lewis's pass deflected and right into the hands of James Cousins for a 17-yard score. However, the Fighting Falcons win this one and knock off the Cavs. 41 the 32. Marshall at home versus the North Texas Mean Green. So we got Thundering Herd and Mean Green. First drive for Marshall. Remy Watson takes the handoff, goes 26. Making people miss, isn't he? Later in the drive, Chase Litton finds Justin Hunt. One yard score, Marshall. A defeat, North Texas, 30 to 13 in Huntington. Bobby Petrino and his Louisville Cardinals hosting the Boston College. Eagles, there's slow-mo Bobby P for you. First quarter, Cardinals on the move. The give goes to Reggie Bonifant. And he carries it down to the 20, gain of 28. And then the freshman, he caps it off, Lamar Jackson. 7 nothing late in the first, Louisville on top. Second quarter, this is the play of the game right here. Cardinals force a fumble in the backfield. Sheldon Rankins be like, yummy, that's my football. Look at the big man. He got some wheels, 46 yards the other way for the score, 14 to nothing move on the Cardinals win 17 to 14 over Boston College. That's final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.